I just wanted to talk about, um, about education and about sort of political interference or how politics warps it. Because I think we all agree that education is uh, important and, and it's a positive force in uh, society, life in general. In fact, it's a bedrock upon a lot of what we, what we do or want to do when we uh, become adults. And the interference is such that when another lot comes in, everything's changed. And it keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. And just take the national curriculum. Now, I can't remember how long the national curriculum has been going. But say it's been going 20 years. How many times has it changed the national curriculum? I mean, you've got the, the present education, which I think he's, he's now said he's not going to do it. But he was saying that the history syllabus in the national curriculum should be primarily about British history. Now, how ridiculous is that? Because it, it's bonkers, and I'll tell you why it's bonkers. It's bonkers because our history is inextricably linked with everyone else's history. So how, I mean, of course, people who teach history from, you know, secondary school right up to university have, have, have condemned it, and I think he's, he's dropped it. They don't do this in most of Europe, as far as I understand. France, Italy, yes, of course, there are innovations. There are different developments, different ideas. And we should embrace those and, and, and do what we can to introduce them. But the bedrock of it, the fundamental platform that education is, should be, should be kept as it is.